what's up you guys it's caboose bringing you another guardians of the galaxy video and today what i got for you guys here is well my review for the guardians of the galaxy game i'm gonna give you guys my straight up honest opinion about this game let you know what i liked what i didn't like and as well showcase some brand new gameplay for you guys before we jump into all that though do me a favor if you're looking forward to the guardians of the galaxy game scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button share your excitement with me and also if you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all things marvel games well then i got Gotcha covered news updates reactions showcasing gameplay like with what you're seeing from this video reviews and so much more anything and everything marvel games related i got you covered lastly wanted to give a huge thank you to the kind folks at square enix and idols montreal for providing me an early review copy with the guardians of the galaxy game to help me create this review for you guys and with all that being said well let's jump into this okay going into this game i felt mixed the hands-on preview that i had last month left me with some things that I was looking forward to, but also some things I really wasn't sure about. To start off with the good, I am happy to report that, for the most part, barring one major issue I had with the combat, it is pretty darn fun to play. My biggest worry for the Guardians of the Galaxy game was not having the opportunity to play as the other members of the team, but I think with having my hands on the full product, I can finally understand why Eidos Montreal made that decision. They didn't want to have five mediocre playable characters, they wanted to have one strong, fleshed out character that you go on this journey with while summoning the other guardians in combat to assist you or to tag team taking down enemies. I'd also like to believe that a large part of the decision making here is that Eidos Montreal really didn't have an idea as to how to structure hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. The animations repeat themselves over and over again, feeling extremely repetitive and sometimes it just feels very stiff. There's no fluidity when you get up close and personal with enemies, which is why it would probably have been a disaster had we gotten the chance to play as someone like Drax or Gamora. I think Eidos made the right choice here in the end. I wasn't really feeling the FOMO I was expecting to when playing through the entirety of the game. Add in some cool but albeit convenient elemental weapons, and from a distance, you can see quite a bit of variety there. Once you start to level up and get access to several new abilities, not just for yourself but your team, you'll start to notice an almost overwhelming amount of options every time you enter combat. This makes things feel fresh every time, and often satisfying when you start to realize how to chain your attacks and that of the Guardians together. I talked about this during my hands-on impressions last month, but I'd like to gush about the huddle mechanic once again. Every now and then, you'll get the opportunity to huddle your team up and try to give them an inspiring speech to get back into the action with. This increases morale and boosts your abilities while blasting some of the sweet songs available in the in-game soundtrack. I loved, loved it so much, and I'm sad that streamers and content creators like myself can't fully experience this game, or at least can't fully experience it when doing Let's Play style content. The actual created soundtrack in the game is awesome, don't get me wrong, you're gonna love it, but hearing some of those classic tunes while mowing down enemies never gets old. I'll also state on the record that this is a fairly solid story that I was genuinely invested in. It's hard to explain what the actual premise is without getting into spoilers, so let me just say that you and the Guardians go on a massive galaxy-spanning adventure with twists, turns, surprises, and a wide variety of environments to explore. Every character really gets their time to shine in this game. You get to learn a lot about the characters and what really makes each of them tick. You'll dig even deeper if you explore the additional dialogue options when speaking to the team either on the Milano or during missions when the button prompt appears. These extra bits of dialogue could create tension with you and the team, it could offer up a very touching moment you wouldn't have expected, or it could lead to something comedic which this game has quite a bit of. My only problem is that, oh my god, sometimes these characters do not have an off button. I think to maybe help moments in the game where you aren't engaged in combat, Eidos wanted to fill the empty spaces with banter between the Guardians. Sometimes it works and I get a good laugh, but sometimes, sometimes I am literally begging the characters to just shut up for 30 seconds. You know there's also way too much dialogue when even half the time someone is getting cut off because we've reached a destination that initiates a cutscene. I would even have moments in the game where it bugged out and it was continuing the in-game dialogue in the background of a cutscene's dialogue. It's just an overcompensation. I also feel the story treads some of the same terrain that we've already seen with the Guardians of the Galaxy. There's no doubting that this game has taken large influence off the recent interpretation of the characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe 
and we've already gotten two full films about a band of misfits that actually sees themselves as a dysfunctional family. I really didn't need that to be an angle in this game, and I was hoping for a take that was a little fresh. It isn't like this all the time, but you'll notice very similar character beats for certain Guardians that can feel predictable when it comes to their character arc. Also, on the subject of overcompensating dialogue, I really don't need an audio cue every time I go off the beaten path to find alternate suits or crafting components. Side note, the alternate suits in this game are pretty sweet, and I love that they are found in some well-hidden areas during each mission really makes them feel earned and forces me to explore every nook and cranny of a level. They're not often extremely hard to find, but you'll run into a challenge here and there when looking for them. While we're on that subject of exploring, the single best thing about this game is that it's a linear adventure. Rather than sticking to one open world map or taking on the impossible task of doing something like an open galaxy explorer, we instead get a tight linear experience where we get to see several unique locations around the galaxy that are extremely well designed and very pretty to look at. It feels like the games of old where there weren't massive open worlds that often didn't feel lived in. We get several locations here, very different locations, really felt like a trek across the galaxy and a good looking one at that. This game is visually gorgeous and I couldn't get enough of it. I can't count how many times I was pausing to go into photo mode and set up a sweet shot. The character models are top notch and quite a bit of care was put into how this game looks. It's also not just for suits that you'd want to explore certain levels. You find collectibles that, as I mentioned previously, give you extra dialogue options with the team, or you can find these little holographic journals that are hidden around each level that flesh out the lore of the universe. Although I will say it's unfortunate that you don't get to keep these in some sort of log, as far as I know. It would have been nice if there was some sort of lore tab that I can go into on the Milano or just in the main menus where I can read all of these rather than having to find them and read them and remember them through each level that I play through. There's also tons of really, really cool Easter eggs to find that sometimes left my jaw to the floor. I was blown away with the level of detail that Eidos Montreal implemented. I'll also mention that I was playing on the PlayStation 5, switching back and forth between quality mode and then the performance mode. I pretty much mainly stayed in performance mode because the quality mode gave me a little too much stuttering for my liking. And apart from a couple of stutters here and there that are pretty unnoticeable, for the most part in performance mode, I noticed that it ran at a smooth 60 FPS. I don't know how it's going to perform or how it's going to look like on the last gen consoles or on PC. Overall, the Guardians of the Galaxy game is, at least for me, a surprising success. I enjoyed a lot of what I played. Maybe not everything, but a lot. I think most people out there, like me, are going to be pleasantly surprised with the Guardians of the Galaxy game, if for nothing else but a well-written story and visually impressive locations. The Guardians of the Galaxy game is a solid 8 out of 10 from me. And there you have it, that is my honest review of this game. There's some things that I liked, there's some things that I wasn't sure about, and there's some things that I definitely did not like that hopefully can get fixed with quality of life improvements. And now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What are you most looking forward to trying out when you get your hands on this game tomorrow? Sound off in the comments below, and once again, a huge thanks to the folks at Square Enix and Eidos Montreal for providing me a review copy of the game. And with all that said, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed my review, hit that thumbs up button it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later